Hello and thank you for joining me today. I'm so excited to share with you in this video natural supportive solutions for overcoming addictions. I'm Jade Bolden and I am a holistic health educator. I help people feel empowered to create their own good health in their mind, body and spirit. So in this line of work I've met plenty of people who have been able to help themselves overcome addictions. So I truly believe that this is something we can heal from. The bottom line is though, we have to choose. So for those people who choose to change and choose to be empowered, they will be able to heal themselves. Okay, so that's the bottom line. Okay, we have to choose. If we don't choose, then this information won't be able to help you. Okay, so this information comes from my own experiences with my clients and my research. So if you want more information about um, essential oils and addictions, you can look up some reference guides such as the Modern Essentials, the Essential Life book and the Oil Magic book and there's plenty others as well. So my friend, I am not claiming to be an addiction recovery expert of any sort. I'm just merely sharing with you information that I've gained from my experience and from my research, okay? So I truly believe this, this is a good place to start. It's non-invasive and it's natural. So hopefully you will enjoy this video. Let's start with talking about the objective. Uh, our objective is to help you and your loved ones regain the satisfaction of being in control of your desires and cravings again, okay, and create healthy source of satisfaction in your life. Okay, so there's that void and we need to address that void. Uh, I truly, truly believe that people can heal from this. I've seen it time and time again, and I know that it's possible with the help of God. Uh, many years ago, I met a couple at my class, at one of my classes that I was teaching, and they wanted to, to some suggestions for solutions uh, for the husband. Um, he has, they have five children together and he has an addiction to opioids and uh, he was sick and tired of it. He really wanted to make a change in his life. I made just a few simple su uh, suggestions and he went home and he applied it. And I think uh, seven months later or six months, I can't remember exactly, um, I connected with them again and they told me they have been, you know, 100% free of opioids at that time. And so I was really happy and really proud of them for making that decision and having that success. Okay, so first of all though, my friend, we need to acknowledge that we have a concern, uh, an issue to, to resolve. Okay, so that's the first thing. Um, uh, we have to acknowledge that we've given away our power okay and that we want to get it back so we need to understand that there are lots of natural solutions out there especially essential oils that can help reprogram our body's cravings and um, help with strengthening our resolve to abstain okay so let's talk about the actual issue just going back to the basics a little bit Addiction interferes with normal brain function, particularly in the reward system. So this reward system releases neurotransmitters like dopamine, endorphins, and other chemicals, right? In, and contrary to the popular belief, the dopamine doesn't actually uh, uh, be, it's not actually what causes the feelings of pleasure and euphoria. Okay, instead it seems to reinforce your brain's association between a certain thing and the feelings of pleasure. Okay, so driving you to seek those things out again and again in the future. So basically I see it as a glue and every time um, we produce those um, neurotransmitters, chemicals, we keep on, we're strengthening and strengthening and strengthening. So it's another layer of a glue, another pathway, another thing that strengthens that connection. Okay. So that's what it is. Okay. So let's talk about the different types of addictions. So there are many different types of addictions. Um, the problem is actually, um, the void. It's not actually the, these things that we are addicted to. Okay, so um, I'll give you an example. 
there's a research that I read years ago of a rat that they put in a large cage filled with toys and wonderful things, food and things that it can um, uh, play with and, and uh, um, spend time uh, on, okay? And in the corner, they have a water um, thing that is um, mixed with opioids. And this rat, after a while, discovered that it's lonely and it's, um, you know, in this big cage by itself. So it will go to the water and drink and then it repeatedly goes back to the water to drink and then it um, drinks itself to death, right? Um, same cage, right? Same water. They had lots of rats in there and the rats interacted with each other and they played and they mated and they... Um, you know, had a society of whatever <laughs> they do. Um, and none of the rats really go there to um, drink and, and satisfy that, um, you know, that need for the opioids. So in reality, it's not the opioids that causes the addiction. It's a void. Um, and so it could be that lack of socialization, it could be the lack of love, lack of connection to other beings that we, um, we're trying to mask by using this uh, addiction, okay? So we first need to recognize that we have an addiction and then, um, you know, we need to uh, recognize that it is interfering with our life and is causing our life to be unbalanced, okay? So, of course, we have the, the drug addiction, smoking and tobacco, alcohol, sugar, and eating addictions, okay? Coffee, work, work can be addictive, gaming, electronics, um, attention and abuse, okay? Pornography, sexual addictions, money, gambling, shopping is an addiction as well, and other things there's there's plenty others okay so it's not the actual things not the drugs or the alcohol it can be there okay but there are certain individuals that won't use that but if there's something that is amiss you're trying to use whatever the substance is if it's the electronics or whatever um, to uh, mask the the actual issue okay so sometimes people can go from one addiction and recover from that to another addiction okay so they have addictive behaviors um, so we need to go down to the root cause and address it there all right so our ultimate ultimate goal is to be awakened so we can not just stop these negative habits from repeating but to find lasting happiness, fulfillment, and empowerment in life. Okay, ultimately, we want this. Okay, and sometimes people don't think of it or know to choose it. So sometimes we hold a magnifying glass, we stay focused on the problem. And sometimes when we focus on the problem too much without developing something else, okay, that we can replace it with, um, we keep creating and staying stuck in the problem. So we just go round and round in circles. Okay, so instead of just focusing on the problem, we want to be creating over here. So it's sort of like somebody saying, I don't want black, I don't want black. Okay, and they repeat that to themselves a lot. But yes, okay, we hear you that you don't want black and you're trying to fix things that are um, you know getting rid of the black have you chosen a color that you want you know not choosing black it doesn't automatically tell people that you ch you're choosing green or you're choosing pink or you're choosing whatever okay so yes you need to say yeah I want to get rid of this but also you need to choose what you want to um, put in that void once you remove this okay so sometimes developing the positive so much, so big that it edges out and it shrinks um, the actual problem, okay? Because this is actually the, the real concern that we didn't address in the first place that has caused that problem, okay? So that's what I truly believe. I believe that it's always a holistic conditioning. What that means is there's always multi-causal for our problems. Okay, so a problem is never just a one cause. 
okay there's always so many things so many things that have come to play in creating that problem so if you have a sugar addiction you didn't create it just simply by taking one bite of a piece of chocolate cake okay there's there's other things there's mind body and spirit that has played a role in uh, the creation of pathways and keep and it keeps reinforcing that pathway okay over time so we have social expectations social trappings um, and things in society that may not be very supportive so there's a culture where you know people are teased if they can't hold their liquor okay um, I think it's a good thing all right that means they, sh they don't need to have alcohol right um, or you can't have a party without drinks really okay mm. uh, so that's not necessarily a good culture okay um, family sometimes the things your family does um, the perhaps abuse and things um, that's how you grew up and that's what you used to one of my clients she says well she's she didn't know different um, parents yell at kids that's all she knew right and she didn't know that there were there were better ways of parenting okay um, culturally you know there's there's trappings there too um, bad habits that you form over time so sometimes you're like yeah I'm just gonna do this this way because it's faster easier cut some corners and then over time you continue to cut those corners okay um, so we need to be watchful and mindful of things that we do because we can easily create those after some time um, situational associations formed and reinforced over time so something happens in the way you interpret it okay and then you keep on interpreting situations like that in that same way creating this reinforced connection okay so we condition ourselves okay and negative interpretations leading to false beliefs sometimes in our formative years we um, with our limited understanding we misinterpret things and we hold on to those misinterpretations okay so what I discovered in my practice is a lot of the addictions come from inherited things and from childhood issues I learned in college that children um, form foundations in their formative years and those formative years are the first five to six years of their lives okay and those are the years that is prior to going to school right and so if we establish healthy foundations of love healthy foundation of language the children will be ahead and have advantage when they actually go to school so I put this into practice and I discovered that I truly can teach my children to read at age three so that's what happened to all my four children um, and then I discovered that you know having a lot of love and a lot of um, attention and um, security in the home in the marriage helps the children have confidence in the world so that they can face things um, even if they're challenging uh, they will have more endurance and they will be more resilient okay so when I discovered that um, you know and I put that into practice it really works as a school teacher I know which children have that foundation and which doesn't and I can see how um, it affects people's ability to be successful in the world the amount of time it takes to heal okay will depend on the degree of conditioning if we've wound ourselves up and if we've made too many connections it will take a while to unlearn those things and to recreate better associations okay so let's look at the holistic approach um, more deeply so let's talk about the mind um, and the emotions okay so we need to have positive emotions we need to create those okay they don't don't just happen we have to create it all right with our beliefs and our thoughts we can create a positive mindset through personal development we can fulfill the voids um, and do a lot of visualization of fulfilling the voids even if we had childhood issues okay so we can do childhood regression techniques to help with that sometimes people imagine the truth being more painful than they can bear okay uh, we need to allow ourselves to enjoy joy peace happiness and love 
Uh, we need to disassociate old unsupportive thoughts and intentionally associate supportive thoughts. Okay, so that's what we do in the mind. So what do we do in the body? We need to cleanse the body. Okay, there's lots of ways to cleanse the body. Uh, we need to form new habits. We need to change our physical environment. We need to endure adjustments. So as things change, you'll have a little bit of withdrawal, a little bit of a um, shock in your body because it's a little bit uncomfortable changing and adjusting to something new. Uh, we need to learn to respect the body um, and have healthy physical uh, relationship with others. Okay, we need to be shown how to have healthy physical relationships and we need to disassociate um, unsupportive actions, the things that we do, okay, and intentionally associate supportive actions. On a spiritual level, we need to learn who we are, who we truly are, our true identity. We need to see our true value. We need to develop self-love and that means uh, we need to receive the love of God first. We need to exercise and strengthen our faith. Okay, so sometimes we think we have faith, but we need to match our actions to what we think we are. Okay, so it needs to be aligned. So are we praying? Are we fasting? Are we reading our scriptures? Okay, um, we need to connect to God and develop faith. So we need to see the world as opportunities for faith promotion. And of course, we need to disassociate old unsupportive beliefs and intentionally associate supportive beliefs. So you can see here thoughts, actions, beliefs, feelings. We need to address all of those things too. Okay, let's talk about mentally, how we can support our minds, okay? So first of all, you already know that we need to recognize that we have an issue, okay? So after that, then we can choose to make a decision to own our own power and agency fully. We need to take 100% responsibility for our choices. Okay, no more blaming. We can intentionally associate good things with good emotions, good thoughts and good beliefs. Okay, there's lots of ways to do this. Um, the next thing here is to release, let go of false beliefs um, and negative beliefs connected to unempowerment. Okay, so it can be just thoughts or words that say, I can't help it, or I don't know how, um, I can't. Okay, so as soon as we get rid of those um, negative uh, self-talk and beliefs, we will be able to get back our power because every time we say it, it's sort of like incrementally giving away our power. We need to cancel the belief that the problem is too great to resolve. We need to cancel the belief that the solutions is outside or out there somewhere. So number three, we need to receive. So we need to choose, release, and then receive, okay? And when we receive, we adopt positive beliefs about ourselves. So we allow ourselves to be happy, loved, peace, joy, and fulfilled. So sometimes we say, I don't wanna be sad anymore. I don't wanna be stuck anymore. But we haven't chosen to be happy. We haven't created happy. We haven't created joy over here. Okay, we're just so busy looking at the things that we don't want. We haven't created things that we do want. So we need to uh, look for supportive evidence of um, what we want. So sometimes we make a list of the things that we don't want and we keep on repeating it over and over again. Um, instead, we can list out things that we do want and evidence that we are having success and evidence that we are good people, that we can change, okay? Um, so, you know, we need to get rid of the um, associations, release it, okay? And then receive, um, the positive emotions, okay? So in my line of work, I've seen people um, become sick so that they can have more attention because attention equals love to them. The more attention, the more love, instead of just simply lots of love, okay? Or, you know, food equals comfort, and so comfort equals happiness, All right? So instead, we can say, you know, I'm happy with God. God gives me love, God gives me peace, um, I'm fulfilled, and I have a life purpose. 
we can also tell ourselves what we want to do. So if I tell myself I don't like this junk food, it makes me sick, it makes me uncomfortable, then I need to find evidence to support that. Okay, and I dig into it and I find that, hey, this chemical is actually toxic for our body and it shouldn't be in our body. And slowly I convince myself that that's not something that I would eat at all. Okay, and that's how we can disassociate. All right, so there's lots of ways to do this. Okay, let's talk about physically. Physically, we need to have healthy cells. It's so important um, and sometimes people don't think about that. Okay, um, healthy cells help us have more physical power to heal, physical power to do, physical power to think. Healthy cells make healthy tissues, healthy tissues make healthy organs, and healthy organs make a healthy us, right? We need to eat a cleaner and more nutritionally dense diet, and of course add supplements to it, because the cleaner the food is, the more the body is satisfied. Okay, so it doesn't ask for more things. Okay, um, cleanse the body with a 30 day cleanse and restore program. Do it at least three times a year. Okay, at least, if not four. Get better sleep and rest. Of course, when we sleep better and we rest, our body is able to produce all the happy chemicals and the hormones that we need to function better, to make better choices. We don't make good choices when we're tired. Uh, to reduce stress, especially with the heavy metals and the toxins from our personal care products and our cleaning products at home. So those um, heavy metals, a lot of the times it's lodged in our brain. It causes a lot of malfunction Okay, in brain activity. So have daily physical activities to help the body produce more endorphins and keep the spirits up. Okay, We do need to exercise as we move around the nutrients travel around our body to all the areas that it needs to. Okay, So it helps with that circulation. Physically wear light colors, more white colors and that will help you um, change on the inside as well. Make amends to people who maybe you've hurt or have been affected by your addictions. Okay, and clean up and brighten up your home. Get rid of things that you don't need anymore. Okay, brighten things up. If things are dark and dull, throw it out, replace it with something white and bright. Let's talk about emotional healing. We need to start facing the real issue and no longer mask um, our real concern with the quick fix with the addiction, okay? We need to release the negative emotions, okay? We need to discover um, the subconscious thoughts and beliefs that created those emotions. Um, do a lot of childhood uh, regression technique uh, for the different ages that uh, come up. Um, we need to address the five fundamental human needs. I feel like just about all the addictions can be resolved by addressing the five fundamental human needs. And they are love, importance, belonging, freedom, and certainty or uncertainty, okay? Uh, we all need to be loved. We all need to feel important in some ways. And so sometimes the things that we do, you know, in our addiction is trying to serve that need, okay? That need to be important. Sometimes we're sick because we need that attention, okay? Um, and the attention gives us the sense of importance or we rebel and do something naughty um, and we know we shouldn't do it because we want to feel a sense of freedom. The deep belief inside is that you're not free and so you're, you do things to you know, falsely give you the idea and the feeling of being free, okay, when you really are free. Okay, and belonging and uncertainty and certainty. That means we need variety in our lives. We don't want the monotony of the same things over and over, but then we also want that security of you know expecting certain things to happen in a certain way. So some, when things are too unexpected or uncertain, that you know throws us off as well. Our heart, my friend, is strong enough and capable of feeling the whole spectrum of emotions. Okay, we're asked to come to God with a broken heart and a contrite spirit. So there's false beliefs that um, people have that says that they can't handle it. Okay, of course we can't handle it by ourselves, but we can handle it with God. Okay, so we need to allow all the emotions to pass through us and refine us. 
So we have a choice. Sometimes when fire comes or situation comes, right, we can let it burn us and cause a lot of pain, physical pain, emotional pain, mental pain, or we can allow it to refine us. Refining means allowing it to serve us, teach us lessons, teach us wisdom and strengthen us. Okay, we need to experience the pain though, the fire, um, all of us do. And once we allow it to refine us, we're stronger and better people in the end. So we really need to uh, face and feel the grief, the shame, the insecurity, the sorrow, the helplessness, the frustration. Those are very common emotions that are connected to addictions. Okay, and once we feel it all, we realize that we're not the only ones. Okay, other people feel the same as well. All right, um, and this is for our own experience. Let's talk about spiritually healing. We need to connect to God and understand our identity. So many people look high and low for a solution when the solution is quite simple. It's to look up and acknowledge God. Okay, like Moses and the staff with the serpent on it, it's basically it. That's what we do, right? So we are beloved children of God. So when you look up, you realize that you are a child of God, okay? That you are not victims to circumstances. The circumstances are there to serve you, okay? When you learn that, you see opportunities to change and to grow. You need to see that these opportunities are faith promoting opportunities to learn faith, to learn hope, charity, love, virtue, knowledge, patience, humility, diligence, and obedience. Nearly all of the life lessons, it basically goes back to these lessons here because these are attributes of Christ. So we are learning to be more like him. And so here are lessons that help us develop these traits to be more like him. The next thing is spiritually develop self-love. Self-love isn't selfish, okay? It is loving God first and then opening yourself up to receiving his love and then loving yourself like he loves you. Because, you know, sometimes when people think of self-love, they think of high self-esteem and they start measuring themselves against worldly measures. So they say, I'm, I'm lovable because I'm, you know, hot or I... And this size or whatever I achieve these things you don't have to earn it and you don't have to achieve it you're simply loved because you're his so as soon as we can connect to the power of God we can see how he loves us and we can love ourselves the way he loves us and that is so profound and powerful okay and it has nothing to do with any of the measures of the world so once we get that, we transcend the world. Um, but there is this opportunity, okay, of what you might be going through, um, this descension before we ascend. Okay, and once we ascend, we will transcend. Just hang in there, okay? Understand your worth and purpose because now that you see that you're a child of God, you see how loved you are, understand your worth and your purpose you have a purpose for being that is unique and so once you feel that you will be able to feel that power and change and then not only change but to create happiness and joy as well in yourself and in others so in the next few slides i'm going to share with you some essential oil suggestions and some supplements to help you start your journey okay i'll suggest some things um, you can do with those oils but basically that i'm going to cover just a few of the addictions um, just to get you started and get your mind going all right so let's talk about sugar addictions so we have some oils an explanation and application grapefruit oil Okay, this is the oil that help you honor your body and its messages. Okay, your body tells you what it needs. Pay attention to it. So take this oil internally several times a day. Cassia and cinnamon oil, they're hot oils. Um, you can take these oils internally as well. But these oils help you see the sweetness in life because we go for sugar because we 
need some artificial sweetener really okay for the lack of sweetness we see in the world the reality is there is so much sweetness around us but we haven't chosen to see it and accept it and receive it so here's an opportunity for you to see the sweetness in life and be grateful okay coriander so take this internally as well you can put these all in a capsule if you like okay um, take it um, regularly and it helps you endure the adjustment okay endure the refining fire and honor yourself and have standard for yourself okay sometimes we haven't created a standard of joy and we live below the privileges that we are um, entitled to and then we complain and we wonder why we don't have all these blessings and sweetness in life that we want okay so mitre to max is a supplement okay it helps with energy um, it's, it helps you feel powerful and think powerful thoughts and be committed to yourself okay that you deserve happiness and you deserve joy and blessings too so two capsules in the morning slim and sassy okay uh, so slim and sassy is a blend of um, cinnamon and grapefruit um, so you can you know use slim and sassy instead it'll be up to you whatever oil you feel drawn to use that okay but it helps you see the inner beauty of your life of you of um, you know the the world around you the world is beautiful the world is good as well all right there's of course darkness and evil and bad things but you can also see the good and stay focused on the good and create more good in the world okay and add more light to the world so take that oil internally and spike nard apply this to your toes and it's an oil that helps you recognize and be grateful for blessings in most situations even in trials you see the silver lining so these are the oils my friend for sugar addictions there's more but start here okay these are my suggestions so tobacco addictions okay black pepper okay is an oil you can put on and under your tongue okay it is the oil of unmasking um, it helps you be real and vulnerable just pause and face yourself sometimes you believe that if people really truly knew who you are who you are inside they wouldn't like you um, so you have a fake mask on the outside to fit in okay instead we already feel like we belong to the family of God and that whatever we are on the inside can't be that different to everyone else okay so that's the lie that the darkness tells us that you're different that you can't show yourself and if you do you'll be devastated okay but that's not true on guard and clove oil you can put it on and under your tongue as well um, it is clarification of self and boundaries so if you have boundary issues you can't say no um, you say yes too much or you allow yourself to be overly responsible for everyone else um, clove and on guard helps you pause and learn how to say no but understand why you say no because you have standards okay you have a higher level of joy that you want to achieve okay um, and you deserve more okay so sometimes when people have boundary issues it's actually an identity issue so cilantro and helichrysum you can apply these on the big toes a lot of the um, tobacco the cigarettes and things it, there's heavy metals in there and it uh, often is lodged in the brain and it interferes with brain function okay so think of it like traffic jam in there okay uh, so cleanse the heavy metals from your body and releases um, feelings of pain and control okay so you don't need to be in control of everything okay just trust the process flow with it and you see that it will lead you to more joy because God's got your back all right lime oil uh, is an oil that you can take internally it helps break down old mucuses and it helps cleanse the body but it's an oil that helps you get rid of stubborn obstacles the stories you tell yourself all the time I can't because 
I can't because and here's the obstacle and here's the problem okay it helps you shrink those problems get rid of those problems and adopt a higher level of joy in life I can have a higher level of joy because I deserve more joy okay I can be privileged to those things Cyprus is another oil that's really helpful apply it to your chest diffuse and inhale inhale deeply allow your heart to release those emotions cry it out um, help your heart be willing to be open and your mind be open and your spirit to be open to God's instructions okay experience the refining fire and change it's going to be okay it's not beyond your ability to change breathe oil you can apply it um, on your chest diffuse it rub it in your palms cup it over your nose and mouth and inhale you can mix lime and cypress and breathe together and do the same okay and do that often um, it helps remind you that you're allowed to breathe in life fully you're allowed to have a full life and what does a full life look like to you what if you had a magic wand and you can do whatever it is that you want to do in life what would it be instead of allowing those limitations that you imagine that you're under that you you know can't live the life that you want you know perhaps in your childhood you've been stifled people are fearful and say no you can't you can't you can't you know oh that's lofty and you know that's not how it is right the reality is you can have the life that you want what is it that you do want start dreaming okay start living start planning on the different aspects of life that you want to create okay so that's the tobacco the drug addictions okay apply balance and frankincense to your forehead okay and to big toes the back of your neck all right and on your ears it helps with clear thinking and focus okay staying focused on the things you're meant to do here on earth instead of allowing yourself to get distracted hiding behind dramas all right rose adaptive serenity roman chamomile lavender those are the oils that help you feel peace serenity calm and rest sometimes people are uncomfortable allowing themselves to rest they feel guilty they don't let themselves rest no no no, no it can't be oh i'm not allowed to, some something is going to go wrong get worse if i rest and relax and enjoy myself okay but my friend okay if you are more restful if you are more still you'll be able to hear and feel god more you'll be able to get more instructions the divine directives so that you can live and work smartly you don't have to work as hard as you think you need to okay that's liberating all right and you just need to smell it apply it to your forehead back of the neck ears big toes calm down open up to the divine powers okay and there's your advantage so you're not stuck and limited to your earthly number of years and the limited number of experiences and learning and understanding that you have you'll be able to open up your heart to receiving divine directives diffuse purify okay throughout the day you can diffuse purify just to help you feel clean and clear remember what I said about cleaning your environment organizing wearing more whites more bright colors okay being more alert feeling cleaner okay and energizing and feeling pure again sometimes when we mess up we feel like we're unworthy um, we make a mistake and our subconscious says you're not worthy of love you're not worthy of blessings you're not worthy of friends you're not worthy of being important you've messed up okay and so we hold ourselves down and purify says no all clean start afresh grapefruit helps you honor your body your body tells you messages all the time rest or i don't like that that's no good for me okay so take it internally when i was younger um, 
I thought something was wrong with my body. I couldn't eat certain foods and I couldn't, um, you know, I was allergic to certain things, but that was what's right about my body. My body was saying no to that artificial colors or sweetener or whatever. No to that, you know, I don't like it, no good for you. Okay, so as I cleanse my body more, my body asks for healthier foods, okay? And it um, doesn't enjoy the um, junk foods anymore. So that was so cool, right? As our body is already programmed, we just need to clean it out and then let it do its job. Sandalwood and Immortel, these are very high vibrational oils. So you can apply it to your forehead again, um, smell it, okay? And allow yourself to open up the divine channels and receive wisdom, okay? Pray and meditate and receive the directions that you need to go, okay? It's not that difficult and all of us um, have access to that. Patchouli, patchouli, so beautiful. This one you can apply to the bottom of your feet, the inside of your uh, feet, along your spine, okay, to help you connect your mind and your body. Your body tells you a lot of information, okay? Your mind is veiled, but your body isn't. Your body will tell you what it needs. Your heart uh, energy will be stronger. Your gut will tell you. There's lots of intuition inside of you that you probably haven't recognized and been obedient to, okay? So try that, patchouli, massage your body with it, put it on the bottom of your feet, along the spinal area of um, the feet, okay? Okay, let's talk about attention addiction. So attention addiction, it it's, it's varies. So it could be um, negative attention. Um, it could be positive attention, as in, I just want people to like me, like me, like me. Um, sometimes people, Need to be told off. I know I, when I taught school, some boys were naughty because that's how they ha get attention from their parents. If they um, are good, their parents don't, you know, recognize that or praise them. They don't get praise, so um, they will do something naughty, and their parents will yell at them, and and then they get some attention, and they associate attention with love or uh, at least importance. Okay, um, so here are some essential oils that you might want to try. Rose oil, very high vibrating oil, okay? When people feel high, they feel happier and they allow themselves to feel loved. And so this is the oil of divine love, receiving love and attention from God. If that cup is full and filled, you don't need other people in the world to fill that cup, right? Okay, so you can actually apply it over your heart, smell it and receive. Okay, so geranium is the oil of um, love and trust. You can actually take this oil internally, okay? Um, smell this oil, all right? And love and trust yourself. You have a heart compass that will guide you. So trust that. It may not make sense at first, but if you just follow that heart, right? Your gut will confirm and your mind will be enlightened as you move forward, okay? Cypress, okay, again, apply it to your chest, diffuse, smell it. It helps open up your mind, your heart, your spirit, helps things flow out, the negative things flow out and help you experience that refining fire quickly so you can overcome quickly. Neroli, uh, neroli touch, um, you can use that oil, apply it to your heart and allow your heart to connect to God and be partnering with God and others okay so you're not alone you don't need to do things on your own all right other people are there to help you okay patchouli again it's an oil that helps you connect to your body so the body can tell you information that you need the heart energy is strong the gut energy is strong and you know who your friends are you know how to get good positive attention okay um, in a balanced way okay instead of you know having more attention if people if you're sharing attention with other people then you're like oh that must mean I'm loved less and because we don't allow ourselves to be loved by us and God uh, we feel a whole we feel hurt okay 
So when you feel loved by yourself and by God, all right, that cup is full and filled. And if you have to share your, your attention with other people, it's okay. It's okay. All right. Um, so the next oil is fennel and ginger. Take this oil internally. It helps remind you that you have power inside. You can create fire. You can have passion, but you can own your agency. You have the full responsibility, okay, for your choices. Okay, so you can now stop hooking onto other people's energy and just simply hook onto God. Sometimes um, the people who are addicted to attention, they are so needy, okay, that it drains people and they actually repel people, okay, instead of, you know, attracting people to them, all right, and uh, so that's important to recognize. Okay, so alcohol addictions are some essential oils. Start with rosemary. You can actually take this internally, but I recommend you start with diffusing and applying it topically, and you can apply it to your mind, to your head, you can apply it to your chest, um, but this helps you see things from a different point of view and help you understand better. Okay, when they take alcohol too much, it separates the left and the right brain um, too often. Okay, that's what happens when we're drunk is our left and right brain separates a little bit. Okay, and we can't, um, our brain doesn't function well. All right, so if we drink too much, it remains separated. A lot more okay so we we don't feel smart okay so the rosemary helps us have more connection there okay helps us believe that we are smart so purify and lemongrass helps us feel more positive and hopeful so just diffuse this oil it helps you feel cleaner okay serenity and adaptive helps you feel relaxed and peaceful and um, not stressed or anxious okay so diffuse that juniper berry you can take this internally okay um, morning and night to help you be okay with the unknown sometimes you want to know what's going to happen um, in the future already but sometimes we don't know we can't know yet and it's okay you just need to believe that the future is going to be fine and you're going to be fine Lemon and zendocrine oil helps cleanse the liver and the gallbladder and releases the liver and the gallbladder emotions. And the liver and gallbladder emotions are anger, bitterness, complaining, guilt, hatred, resentment, depression, frustration, indecisiveness, and panic. Okay, so if you cleanse these um, emotions out, all right, you won't be feeling those emotions so much. Uh, anymore okay but you can help it along by consciously letting go of panic letting go of hatred resentment and all of those liver and gallbladder emotions okay you have the power to release it you just simply make a choice and give the instructions to your body to do so spikenard again it's an amazing oil that you can apply to the big toes and it helps you see the blessings in all situations instead of getting mad and frustrated at situations because it's not going the way you think it should be okay allow things to happen as it should uh, sometimes and see the silver lining okay see the lessons the faith promoting experiences so how about gaming um, sometimes because parents are too busy um, we allow the kids to busy themselves with games because it's simple and easy perhaps spending a little bit more time with their children and helping them develop skills like biking swimming chess karaoke that's what we do in our family um, badminton um, lots of things you can do okay physically and the children lose the interest in the electronics so when our children were little sometimes of course if we're stuck in a in a place right in an office or whatever we give them the our, our phone to play with okay but um, you know if we're home you know sometimes they, they take our phone and they'll start playing with it instead of yanking the phone away and grounding them from phone okay we say oh, let's do this other activity come on everyone let's do this together and we make it so fun that they lose interest in the electronics sometimes we tell our kids let's do an electronic fast because now that they're um, teenagers they're older so we can talk to them about things you know what this summer let's have a week where we have no electronics and let's do something else and we try to do it that way too 
okay um, so there are lots and lots of ways to be creative about this so of course balance and frankincense just to help the brain have more power uh, more focused okay so it doesn't get distracted by one thing after the next on the screen okay adaptive serenity roma chamomile lavender all right diffuse those oils help them find that happiness and peace in something else as well purify cleansing all right lemon wild orange and grapefruit these are very good for radiogenic cleansing these are very good for radiogenic cleansing it helps the left and the right brain function better okay so it's brain support so sometimes there's electrical pulses from these uh, electronic toys that actually interferes with our electricity so this kind of helps reset it all right so these citrus oils are very important uh, sandalwood and immortel or salubel for the australians um, apply it to your forehead the back of your neck on your ears and big toes diffuse it and this helps open your mind up to wisdom trust that your children trust that you are wise enough to make good decisions on your own um, we haven't really grounded our children from electronics or anything because we want to train them to be wise we want to give them the confidence because as adults later on no one's going to be watching over their shoulders right you're not going to be there 24 7 watching over their shoulders and saying put that down go to bed all right they need to do that themselves they need to suffer the consequences of you know um, not having the control and they need to learn while they're still in you under your roof and so we encourage meditation we encourage prayer in our family we encourage wisdom and we believe that our children are wise enough so when we lend them that confidence they actually make really good wise decisions and it will surprise parents okay sometimes we think kids are not smart they're naughty we just simply create that but it's not true okay if we lend them that confidence i've taught many kids and sometimes you know at home their parents don't believe in them but at school when i believe in them they end up doing well right but it would be great if the parents can believe in them too all right again patchouli fantastic oil to help their physical body okay stop and you know their minds controlling the body better okay making that connection so my friends there's so much more that I can share with you but I don't want to make this video too long keep track of your progress as you journal okay you'll recognize more false beliefs more associations more connections more meaning that you give to your actions okay um, patterns and habits that you've um, established that you didn't recognize you have okay you only know if you're addicted to something when you try to stop it and it's difficult right um, so keep track write your journal all right and as you write in your journal of your um, challenges and your progression um, you'll see that you're able to see success okay so make sure you celebrate your success get support um, wherever you can uh, you get, ask your family members to support you in this way ask your friends to support you there's plenty of support out there so don't think that you have to do it all on your own okay and share your success with others celebrate it with others um, that's evidence that you're successful evidence that you're powerful and you can do this I can make these changes so my friends if you would like to book a session with me go ahead and go to my website jadebolden.com and book a time with me okay so basically what I do is life uh, faith-based life coaching so I do it by faith because I truly believe that you know by the power of Jesus Christ and God we can heal we can do all things okay what I do is in the end the goal is to help strengthen your faith or connection to God okay help you own your power more so take back all of your power so that you can master the elements okay what we do we give praise to God so um, you and God will be the one that makes the changes I will be guiding and coaching that's pretty much what it is okay and basically this is simple so you can enjoy the simplicity of the pro uh, of process healing doesn't have to be so um, elaborate and difficult okay it actually is simple and the more I do this 
the more I want to praise God and say thank you for simplifying things and for helping me understand it. My friend, if you don't have a doTERRA account, go to the person who introduced you to this video and ask them to help you open a wholesale account. Basically, a wholesale account is a $35 membership um, that will help you get wholesale um, products all year long. Okay, so if you don't have somebody, you can talk to me. Uh, the renewal fee is $25 every year and you get a free peppermint oil valued at $27. So that's pretty good. Um, you can buy your products for 25% or below. Okay, so below retail and there's products that are even more discounted than that. Um, if you choose a kit, a starter kit, an enrollment kit, your $35 membership fee is waived. So you can start with a natural solutions kit, home, uh, healthy home kit, healthy essentials kit, um, healthy start kit, and there's other kits too. And as um, doTERRA updates, um, you'll get different types of kits. But doTERRA is a phenomenal co uh, company that produces the highest quality of essential oils in the world. And you'll be very, very pleased with that, that membership. So trust me there. Thank you so much for being with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below. Tell me what you thought of it, if it's helpful to you at all, if you have any questions. Okay, please visit my website for more information and please subscribe to my YouTube channel to support me in making more videos like this. And please like and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.